this is a history. This is a history of what's going on. This is a case I have against my abuser since all law enforcement, all of it was denied. Every location I went, they covered for it. Okay, so we'll, these, these are the events. So I'll start right here at the bottom. So this is when I opened up the case because all law enforcement was uh, denied. So Austin Street was depriving me of the mail. So they sent out a notice of deficiency in August. Okay. So all law enforcement was denied. So he panicked because they actually said that these appear to be true and factual events extended from a long period of time. So he panicked. Okay. So then in um, August, they were depriving me of the mail at Austin Street and playing games, putting me out so I wouldn't get mail in schemes. So they sent me out a notice of, def of deficiency. Um, they arrested me on false charges August 1st. And then I spent time in jail. No, yes, August 1st. And I'm not quite sure how long that stretch was. So then what they started doing, um, they arrested me again September 3rd. Um, I was trying to report that I almost got hit, ran over by a dark bus, and Lindsay um, covered for it because it was a lot of abuse on dark. So Lindsay covered for it when I was trying to do that report to Cedric, Cedric Bivens. So they needed me to be arrested to cover for him. So they arrested me September 3rd, okay? And then I was not let out or they deprived me of my right to go to court. They said I wasn't mentally stable, but it was on body cam footage, this officer committing a crime, which a multitude of parties, conspirators cover for it, even depriving me of my constitutional right to go to court. They tried to frame me with mental illness and had me go to Turtle State Hospital. When I did all the stupid requirements they said that I needed to do, they terrorized me in the hospital too, in ways you wouldn't even believe. So then... Um, after I did all the stupid tests they told me I needed to do, they said it was dismissed. And they let me out. Um, I think it was like December 27th, something like that. So they, the only place that I was railroaded to go back was to the abusive Austin Street that was highly controlled. So you see that they returned mail there. They're supposed to keep it for a certain amount of time, but since they were conspiring together, they returned it. Okay. Witness protection fouled. What happened? I'm still not in it. So then, um, I asked for legal representation. I don't know what that notice of delivery, I didn't receive any mail, so I don't know what that is. So February 4th, I don't know what happened there. Finding conclusions, that's what it says for that. Okay, I asked for counsel. They denied it. I was homeless, fighting for my life. They would not give me legal representation, period. No location. They wouldn't even do it for my daughter. So then by the time they were started to work on the case, COVID happened. Because they said that this appears to be true and factual events extended from a long period of time. Then they gave me the criminal trespass, gave me tickets for trying to appear at court. Joe's Joseph, some kind of way they want to uphold these things, but they have no explanation to why they're doing it. There's an awful lot of law enforcement that don't want me at this location where I have this court uh, case against this man that claims to be innocent, that they have been covering up and enforcing his abuse for years. My phone's doing the same thing again. Let me go back. So then they dismissed it because I wasn't able to appear at court, but I've already told them that I, could, I didn't have access to the court. Then they state that right here that the mail returned. But I was going to go check on my mail and they wouldn't give me my mail. I found another notice. And they keep denying me the right to counsel. And then they supposedly sent something, uh, sent something January 26th. And my mail was returned again. So let's see what this is. So now they're stating January 1st 
26, 2021, a motion to appoint counsel. Salvation Army would not give me my mail. The Sober Living Place would not give me my mail, which are felonies. You just can't entice locations to deprive me of male felony crimes because you don't want me to be protected from this man for profit. So since I gave her the wrong case number, let's see what other crime that they have. They do this in person. I informed the court I was terrified for my life. You saw on here I have asked them for witness protection and they deprived me of it. If they are terrorizing me at the very court, depriving me even of my access to come to court, that means, means I need to be in witness protection. But some kind of way, all avenues I have taken to protect me and my daughter have been ignored for years, forcing me to have to do this YouTube channel to fight for our lives because what we experience is not even realistic or believable unless you see it yourself. So let me call back. If they answer, they play games. Since I have the number and it's control. You have reached the United States Attorney's Office Victim Witness Unit for the Northern District of Texas, which They're along with answer. the case Years or court docket number and they do not call so back. that we may be able to assist you promptly. Thank you and have a great day. You have received District Clerk's Office for the Northern District of Texas. You will find helpful information on our website at www. Yes, may I have your name, please? It's me, I can help you. Okay, um, may I, your position, this is the Northern District Court? Yes, this is the court. Okay, in your position? I'm a clerk, that's it. A clerk? Yes. Okay. I just have extreme extreme experiences, ma'am, that are amazing. Okay, I'd like to get some information on witness protection. I have a case there, and I report it to the court. I like a follow-up. I saw that something was mailed January um, 21st, 2021. I, I informed the court I don't have a right to get mail. Felonies keep racking up. So I don't have the right to mail or make my phone, real phone calls, which I informed the court of that. And I informed the court that I was terrorized to the degree that they even violated me trying to check on my case coming to see them and gave me tickets like they have done at a multitude of other locations committing crimes to cover up for um, abuse and other crimes. So I wanted to know what I can do because they gave me another criminal trespass. To sabotage my access, they it looks like they appointed counsel. It's like there's a multitude of conspirators violating my rights. So can I give you my information so you can check and then they can do something about these criminal trespasses that are derived out of criminal activity to enforce yeah, that, to something. sabotage my case, which is criminal. Okay, let me get yeah, that for you. Yes, let me get that for you just one moment. Okay, I apologize. I, as I formed the court, I don't have the right to normal phone service. So it took me a little time to get it. It's three... 19-CV01609. See something was sent. I tell inform the court I don't have rights. I don't have rights to mail. So it shows something that was delivered and um mail undeliverable. Tuesday, January 26, 2021? Yes, it was the uh, order for your motion on uh, to appoint counsel, and it was denied. Oh, okay. So they didn't re denied my motion for uh, represent legal representation, knowing full-blown right. well that the government was um, blacklisting me from all legal representation. But however, they still blacklisted me from any legal representation, did not put me in witness protection, also allowed staff to violate mis me, mistreat me, handcuff me, trying to take me, uh, check on my case, take my backpack, intimidate me and violate me with no consequences. Then in addition to that, they denied me of my right to counsel and witness protection. So what can I do? Because I can't find people that aren't committing felonies. Okay, I'm not I'm not at liberty to tell you what to do because we're not attorneys here, so we can't tell you what to do. Okay, so you don't want me to know how to report criminal activity as they haven't for years because my life is in jeopardy. There's child abuse involved, and the court everywhere I go, they're depriving me of information, covering up for crime, sabotaging my case. That is criminal. To hinder a case is a crime. And you have evidence of them of it by them handcuffing me, taking my backpack, and giving me citations for trying to check on my case and terrorizing me. 
That's why I asked for witness protection that this court denied me of out of criminal activity. They don't have a choice to because they're to take bribes and deprive someone for protection as they've done years. So it's obvious criminal activity surrounded by a multitude of cases with no consequences. I'm not quite sure why this man seemed to have panicked when the court was abiding by the law. Then, uh, you know, amazingly, COVID happened. Then he had time to buy off everybody else. Not saying that they're related, but I saw a lot of the government committing a lot of things that made them appear to be mentally ill with no consequences. So, ma'am, I, I don't know how what to do if the court won't abide by the law as well as any other court I go come in contact with. If I'm reporting to you that there's crime surrounded by my case here, as well as every other case I come in con court I come in contact with, how do I combat that? I haven't been able to for years. Well, I'm not in liberty to do any of that anyway. Well, can we escalate? Because the Northern District Court is supposed to offer witness protection and have avenues for witnesses to get protection and not hinder cases. You so if I have a case there and they have uh, given me criminal trespasses to sabotage my case, then it's your responsibility to help me get protected and give me avenues to protect myself. But if other, all the parties I call lie and, hold, and withhold information from me, that's not okay. Because if you give it to other people, it's not okay for me to be deprived of the information and the help. So I can hold because I don't know what to do. How am I going to do anything regarding my case if they commit crimes and give me criminal trespasses with no consequences? You can hold for what? For you to find out, ma'am. You have a responsibility for me uh, not having access to the case. Uh, criminal cases done. Our criminal cases are done through the U.S. Attorney's Office. So you can contact the U.S. Attorney's Office on that. What did I call? This is the federal court, not the U.S. Attorney's Office. It's different. Okay, so what's the federal federal court? Do you have an actual name? Is it the Northern District Court? Yes. Okay, so I have called the Northern District Court, but you didn't want me to know that. You wanted me to know that it was a federal court. Excuse me? So I called the Northern District Court, but instead of you saying Northern District Court, you said federal court. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I said that when I answered the phone, I said this is the help desk. Okay, I thought I just asked you what I called, and I thought you said federal court, ma'am. I thought I asked you what you called, and you said federal court instead of northern district no, court. No, you, you asked me was it northern district, and I said yes. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, yeah. so this is the northern district court, and do you see a case? You do see a case? Yes. Okay, so what's going on with the case? I told you what was last filed, your, your, your return of your, uh, the return of your mail. That was the last thing that was filed. Okay, so is the case active? Can you tell me what's going on with the case? There's, there's, there's not been any action since then. Okay, so there's a crime going on. They're so criminal, they keep giving me criminal trespasses. Okay, and I inform the court of that. If, if there is criminal activity, you, you have to contact the attorney's office. Okay, what's that number? Okay. Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard? How long have you been working there? 18 years. Have you ever heard of someone getting violated coming to check on their case with no consequences? Oh, no. Well, I think that people should take it a little bit more seriously than what they are doing, taking it, even so before COVID. Okay, ma'am, what's the number? 214-659-8600. And this is the U.S. Attorney's Office? And where's that located? It's in the same building. Okay. So you can't help me with so them sabotaging my case, which is criminal. It's a crime. That's clearly obstructing justice, obstruction of justice. They don't want me to have access to this case, so they're repetitively giving me criminal trespasses and tickets like they do at a multitude of locations, which is what I reported to the court before COVID. Then after a multitude of people, conspirators got caught in their crimes, then it shut everything down with COVID. Anyway, ma'am, so now you're informing that I call the U.S. Attorney's Office. You cannot re um, rectify the crime that's being committed with criminal trespasses to, to deprive me of access to this building for cover up to protect this man no, I can't. that's supposed I to be supposedly no, innocent. 
Okay. And they haven't been able to do it for years, man, which is criminal. Depriving me of my rights that you give other people is not excusable, which is why what I reported to the court. Okay, ma'am, let me try this number. Okay. Can I help you? Yes, this is the U.S. Attorney's Office? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry, may I have your name? I am the operator. You don't want me to have your name calling you randomly out the blue? I am just the operator, ma'am. How can I help you today? Okay, you're just the operator that don't happen to not want me to have your name. Is that correct? Because I like to know who I'm talking to. How can I help you, ma'am? Okay, you don't want me to have your name for some reason. That's a red flag. Okay, so I had um, set up a case at the Northern District Court, and there's a lot of felonies that are racking up with no consequences. I get terrorized daily. I'm deprived of all law enforcement, intimidation, bullying, gang stalking, child abuse, interference with child custody, civil rights violations to the degree of denying me purchase of water and food, and my right to go to court. That has been un, um, no, no consequences for years and a multitude of conspiracy, conspirators with, like I said, no consequences. So how do I report crimes if the government is depriving me of all law enforcement? And then they're committing crimes, giving me tickets, handcuffing me, taking my backpack, intimidation when I come in that building and I had an active case. Um, all I can tell you, ma'am, is that you have to contact the FBI. I, they keep passing the buck for years, ma'am. This is what, I mean, everyone, what they're doing is they're not doing their job task and responsibility. And out of criminal activity, everywhere I go, all domestic violence locations I call, they all pass the buck and they've done it for years, depriving me of services years before COVID. So this, my abuser hit the jackpot, ma'am. Because he was openly violating my civil rights to the, to the degree of sabotaging food and water with no consequences. I called and looked up a lot of different places on my phone. Since they put me out of Austin Street, I was going to do a whole bunch of different things and advocating for myself. And that shutdown interrupted a lot of different things, ma'am. So he hit the jackpot because he had a shutdown, this mysterious, serious shutdown that was going, going under the radar for me for a long time that no one cared about. Businesses closed. They lied and said that they were robbed. Police did shutdowns and all kinds of crazy things. Depriving me of um, money in my account, food stamps, social security benefits, all kinds of things that have been unaddressed for years. And he hit the jackpot with COVID, but it just happened to shut down everyone's rights too, along with mine. So there's no way to report crimes. The U.S. Attorney's Office, you refuse to give me any avenues, period, except as they, instead of just passing the buck. What do you do there? She hung up. Years. <laughs>